Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Nehemiah chapter 11, this is the New Living Translation. The people occupy Jerusalem. The leaders of the people were living in Jerusalem, the holy city. A tenth of the people from the other towns of Judah and Benjamin were chosen by sacred lots to live there too, while the rest stayed where they were. And the people commended everyone who volunteered to resettle in Jerusalem. Here's a list of the names of the provincial officials who came to live in Jerusalem. Most of the people, priests, Levites, temple servants, and descendants of Solomon's servants, continued to live in their own homes in the various towns of Judah. But some of the people from Judah and Benjamin resettled in Jerusalem from the tribe of Judah. Athia, son of Uzziah, son of Zechariah, son of Amariah, son of Shepatiah, son of Mahalalel, of the family of Perez. Also, Maseiah, son of Baruch, son of Kohose, son of Haziah, son of Adiah, son of Joyarib, son of Zechariah, of the family of Shelah. There were 468 descendants of Perez who lived in Jerusalem all outstanding men from the tribe of benjamin salu son of mishalem son of joed son of padiah son of holiah son of messiah son of ethio son of jeshiah after him were gabai and selai and a total of 928 relatives their chief officer was joel son of zikri who was assisted by judah son of Hasinua, second in command over the city. From the priests, Jedidiah, son of Joerib, Jachin, and Syriah, son of Hilkiah, son of Mishalim, son of Zadok, son of Miriah, son of Ahitub, the supervisor of the temple of God. Also, 822 of their associates who worked at the temple. Also, Adiah, son of Jeroham, son of Pelaliah, son of Amzi, son of Zechariah, son of Pashur, son of Malchijah, along with 242 of his associates who were heads of their families. Also Amashai, son of Azarel, son of Azai, son of Mishalimoth, son of Emer, and 128 of his outstanding associates. Their chief officer was Zabdiel, son of Hagidolim, from the Levites. Shemiah, son of Hashub, son of Azrikam, son of Hashabiah, son of Buni. Also, Shebitha and Josabad, who were in charge of the work outside the temple of God. Also, Mattaniah, son of Micah, son of Zabdi, a descendant of Asaph, who led in thanksgiving and prayer. Also, Bakbukiah, who was Mattaniah's assistant and Abda, son of Shemua, son of Galal, son of Jeduthun. In all, there were 284 Levites in the holy city. From the gatekeepers, Akub, Talman, and 172 of their associates, who guarded the gates. The other priests, Levites, and the rest of the Israelites lived wherever their family inheritance was located in any of the towns of Judah. The temple servants, however, whose leaders were Zaiha and Gishpa, all lived on the hill of Uphel. The chief officer of the Levites in Jerusalem was Uzai, son of Bani, son of Hashibiah, son of Mataniah, son of Micah, a descendant of Asaph, whose family served as singers at God's temple. Their daily responsibilities were carried out according to the terms of a royal command. Pethathiah, son of Meshazabel, a descendant of Zira, son of Judah, was the royal advisor in all matters of public administration. As for the surrounding villages with their open fields, some of the people of Judah lived in Kiriath Arba with its settlements, Debon with its settlements, and Jika Bazil with its villages. They also lived in Jeshua, Molada, Beth Palet, Hazar Shual, Beersheba with its settlements. Ziglag and Mikona with its settlements. They also lived in Enrimen, Zorah, Jarmuth, 
Zenoa, and Adulam with their surrounding villages. They also lived in Lachish with its nearby fields and Azekah with its surrounding villages. So the people of Judah were living all the way from Beersheba in the south to the valley of Hinnom. Some of the people of Benjamin lived at Geba, Michmash, Aijah, and Bethel with its settlements. They also lived in Anathoth, Nob, Aniah, Hazor, Ramah, Gitaim, Hadid, Zeboim, Nebalat, Lod, Ono, and the Valley of Craftsmen. Some of the Levites who lived in Judah were sent to live with the tribe of Benjamin. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.